all you get there by natural, by just a natural course of things. In other words, you resist, and then if you find resistance to your resistance, then you make up your mind how far you want to go. That's why it's called a united independent concept. You don't look to see what somebody else is doing. Everybody has their same, has a different level of fear or a different level of desire. You always go according to the level of fear and or desire that you have at the time that you have it. That's what you listen to. That's that voice within you. That's that message being sent to you. Now, you're going a little too far right now. You're in danger. Are you ready to go all the way at this particular point? Without asking anybody anything, just checking with yourself. Do you think that your circumstances are so horrible or the way that you see the entire circumstance that you want to push further at this particular time? If the answer is no in the mind of the person, you simply don't. And you don't have to explain it to anybody. That's the United Independent concept. Someone observing it might say, Oh, well, you back down. You back down. Oh, I'm condemning you for backing down. They're not qualified to do that. No one is. If you choose to back down after making a bold step forward, and then you make two quick steps back, that's what you chose to do. And you're qualified to do that. Because different people have different levels fear or desire at different times and you act accordingly when you see that it's the only thing to do is to keep going forward into harm's way and that's your choice then you do that don't check with anybody on that you tell yourself the truth or even if you do check with someone you tell yourself the truth because this is you. You can only account for one person. That's yourself. And as a victim of racism, no one is supposed to tell you what your limit is. You set your own limit. You listen to that voice. The voice might be telling you, now is not the time. In fact, there won't ever be a time. The voice might tell you that because you can do things a different way, a better way, where the ultimate sacrifice will not be necessary for you. You're more valuable in other ways. That's a decision for the person to make. I'm talking about it just in everyday things. In many cases, you make a bold step and then decide, well, it's a little too bold. You feel very uneasy with it. And so you might take two, three, four steps back after making one bold step forward out of fear or simply out of a change of mind based on you perceive it is not the best strategy for you at that particular time and place. That's the united independent concept. And you exist because you're here. Life is when you're here in the correct conditions, meaning a world of justice. Everything that you interact with is just and correct. Things are the way that they should be. There's an absence of mistreatment of people. And the people who need help the most get the most constructive help at the time that is needed. Most people will say that's utopian. 
It's all kind of names for it. Shangri-La, Heaven on Earth, lots of cliches. But the basic belief, according to the United Independent Concept, following counter-racist logic and compensatory logic, is that it can be achieved. You can't have that type of environment. It's just a matter of setting that as a goal, whether you reach it or not. Because the option is the status quo, which should be unacceptable to any reasonable person. Totally unacceptable. To be always full of anxiety and fear of the actions of other people. Not of the moon falling out of the sky, but of other people who have been on this planet for a very long time and should know better by now. There is a better way of doing things other than always be surrounded by hostility and suspicion. The theory is, and the concept is, it can be relatively easily achieved with a serious commitment. It just seems difficult because no one has ever taken it seriously. 